So here's the story. Woman told me she grew up in a very, very secular family, very Jewish secular family, very spiritual soul, very sensitive soul. 1960s, Woodstock, Yitzstock, revolution, people searching for truth, for infinity, and she travels the world to find oneness, nirvana, one and all, all in one. She was spent years on her spiritual journey. She spent months and years in monasteries, in ashrams, in spiritual Buddhist, Zen, Christian centers. For years, not for two weeks. It wasn't a bizarre backpacker, you know, from, from yeshiva going to explore for two weeks. <clears throat> years. And she got involved in the fasting and in karma and in transcendental meditation and in Zen Buddhism, in the practices, the rituals, including burning the incense and many of the pagan rituals and practices prevalent in the Far East. And she really excelled <laughs> in that environment. She got a call that our very close relative is sick and she had to come back to America and somebody invited her for Pesach to be in Crown Heights, 1973. The Rebbe came to visit the Seder in Mechon Chana, which was a girls' school for Bali Tshuva, and she saw the Rebbe. And it touched her, something touched her, and somebody said, why don't you stay here a few months and learn about Judaism? And she really began to develop a very deep connection to Yiddishkeit because of her spiritual sensitivity. When she decided to stay and study, so she wrote a letter to the Rebbe. The letter was a very long letter, and the letter simply shared with the Rebbe everything she went through. The home she grew up in, the secularism she was raised in, and then she went through every monastery, <laughs> every Avoy de Zara, all the fasting, all the meditations, all the rituals, all the incense burnings, all of the dancing and orgies, everything. She spent time in Europe, in Western Europe, and in Eastern Europe, and in the Far East, in India, and other places. A full letter, a long letter. Eight pages, everything. And she said, here I am today. <laughs> I want to become Jewish. I'm Jewish, but I want to become Jewish. And she said these words to me. She told this to me directly. She said, people told me that the Rebbe is the right person to give you a tikkun for all the Avaydazara. Avaydazara is the serious, it's a cardinal sin. It's the one of the three, Yaharik Val Yavr. And it's not Avaydazara one week. It's Avaydazara for years. But he's the right tzaddik who can give you a tikkun. And people speculated that it's probably going to be fasting for like 40 years. You know, Monday, he'll do it in a nice way, you know, Monday, uh, Thursday, Tzedakah, Tehillim, you know. But 40 years, you'll be Masak and the Zora, and you'll become Ayyid. <clears throat> and she told me she was expecting it. Just years of... Of, of being entrenched in pagan idolatry, and literally pagan idolatry, not the American versions of Buddhism, the real Buddhism in its core, and she's waiting for the tikkun. Did I ever read the letter? It says, Vintage Lubavitcher Rebbe. And he wrote an answer to her. The answer consisted of two words with a little explanation. The two words were, Yagaita umatsasa. Just like by you was Mekuyam the Yagaita, by you will be Mekuyam umatsasa. The Gemara says in Megillah, Yagaita, you search, you'll find. Obviously, you fulfilled the first part very well. You searched. So it's obvious that the second part will be fulfilled. You will find. That was the answer. What did he do? 
He took all of her years and he put it into one word, Yagaita. And the Yagata is the prerequisite for Matsasa. Another person would look at her and say, wow, how Tome you are. Look at the Tuma. The Rebbe said, Yagaita. What were you doing? You were searching. You were searching for truth. You were searching for God. You ended up in crazy places. And God brought you where you had to be. And by you is Mekuyim, the Yagaita will be Mekuyim, the Matsasa. Just like the Yagata was Mekuyim. Because you went everywhere to extremes. That was her tikkun. <laughs> that was her tikkun. And this is more than fasting 40 years. You could fast 40 years and not have a tikkun. Right? So what's, what, what, what did the Rebbe tell this, this lady? A half of a fella. He put all of her years, all of her years he put into one word. Yagata. First of all, you're not a demon. You're not a lowlife. You're not a despot. You're not a sick person. Yagata, you're a searcher. God didn't make a mistake by putting you in the family where he put you. Avram Zakim Baba Yamim, the same the Sikha, Khalik Lamar Hei Vayera. Even the years when Avram and Moira de Kivart, right? It says Avram Zakim Bayam, it says in Zoyhar, he came with all the days, but the first three years he was in Avaida Zara. So the Rebbe says, Yeah, Vayeda Memchas. So the Rebbe says that the, the, it was a search. The search is part of the discovery. That, that's the word. Yagata umatsasa. You can't get to umatsasa without the Yagata. So I look at the Yagata and I say, what a lost Jewish girl. That's Golos. Gaula says, wow, what a courageous Jewish girl who's ready to go to the other end of the world to find God. No, what God? She's an Avaidazara. What a lost soul. And you're right, she is a lost soul. But if you see the Pnimiyas, if you see a Lakus, if you see the Emes, the Yots of Ahoysa, Mamir Meyisim, Im Hashem. So what's the, it's, it's a Yagata. It's a journey. It's a journey. And the journey is to get to a deeper Matsasa. So you took all of the years of Yagata, Tikkun. The ultimate tikkun. But not tikkun through La La Land, makifim, eh, garnish. No. Pnimius. It was Yagata. And if you would have stopped there, it would have taken been tragic. But look, you did a good Vyagata. So Hashem did a good Umatsasa. This is how you have to see it with yourself and with every person. This is the ultimate tikkun. The ultimate tikkun is to see every journey as a chilek of Yagata. This is not romanticizing darkness. That's not the Nakuda. We don't do that. What it does do is it romanticizes the soul that ended up in darkness. We don't romanticize Chayshech. We romanticize the soul that is Chavuka Udvuka Bach Tayenes Ulach Yechida Liachdoch.